We all watch football, right? Everyone watches football. But no one, uh, well, like, I mean, everyone's eyes is just on, like, the quarterback or, like, the receivers because they're, like, the only ones, like, like, all, like, making the plays and stuff. But no one actually uh, pays attention to the linemen, the big linemen right there. And they're, like, the crucial, like, like the foundation of the, of the game and stuff. Um, that's kind of what the bass guitar is within music. It, it just keeps the pulse going in the whole song and it's like the foundation of the song and everything. Um, I'm going to educate you with the history and background of the Fender bass, the anatomy of the bass, and what the bass guitar purpose is in music. Um, I've been reading about the history of this instrument for a, for a couple weeks now and uh, um, I've been playing this music for, for eight years but I had no idea of like the history and everything about it, so it was like very interesting to me. Um, everyone listens to music, and it doesn't matter who you are, you always gonna listen to music. Surprisingly, not a lot of people know what the bass is, everyone just thinks it's a guitar, just like any other electric guitar. Now, as you can see, there's four strings, and they're, they're thicker, and they're made for like lower tones, like to keep it deep. And the electric guitar is six strings, and like, the different notes and the strings are tuned to E, A, D, G and uh, um, I'm going to uh, discuss the anatomy structure and a brief history lesson. So the first session I want to share with you guys is the brief history of the Fender Electric Bass. Uh, the bass in music has been around for centuries. Uh, it's nothing like the electric bass it is now today. It used to be an upright bass, which is hollow body, which is like a like a violin, which is this big. It's fretless too. It it stands at like a needle point, where like the player has to stand there and just play. And uh, Paul Tutmark, I got this information from uh, Bud Tutmark, is his son. He's a he did a biography on his dad and. Uh, Paul Tutmark was the first person to invent electric bass in the 1930s, um, but never um, was um, massively like marketed. Then around the 40s, uh, Leo Fender, the the creator of the Fender guitars, saw uh, these basses and basically just like made his version of that, and and he made it into his certain like style of body. This is. Because like everyone, um, if you see this guitar, you know it's a Fender, just the way it looks, everything about it, that's on the neck of the body. And uh, and this was basically the evolution of the, the electric bass guitar from acoustic to electric. Um, Leo Fender was the first person to mass produce his product of the Fender American bass, and now it's an instrument caught in the music, in the music scene today. That was the basis of the history of the Fender bass and how it came to play, and now let's discuss the anatomy. The structure of the Fender bass is divided into like six main components. The head with the tuners, the tuners, the, the pickups, I mean the, the, the neck and the frets. The frets are metal pieces which divide the neck into uh, um, semitones, which is like the notes and like the main point. Um, you have your pickups, and it's just, um, this is which like powers the, the guitar, which is coils. Um, they're magnetic, and basically it uh, amplifies the the vibrations of the strings, and um, it sends it to the amplifier, which like amplifies the sound. And uh, you, um, you have your bridge too, and that's for like the structure of the strings and how like hold everything together. And then you have your volume. So, so all the electronics is, is behind this and under inside the body. Here's the back side. Uh, and now I'm going to um, talk about the role of the electric bass in music. Uh, if you're on off the, the deep tones and the, the lower side of, of the music. It's basically the spine, the backbone of, in a song, and that's what we know as a pulse or rhythmic foundation in music terms, along with the drums. 
no one really pays attention to the base, like I said earlier with the football, like with the, the linemen. Like everyone's eyes are mostly on the singers, the guitar is like doing his solo. And uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the electric bass is, is mostly known in like, in deeper music like rock, jazz, um, like R&B, reggae, and funk. That's just like its main role. But and now it's just like it's used in everything now. Um, I'm going to demonstrate uh, like how effective the bass could be with just uh, just the drums and bass alone. Like like how like how much it affects the song. on the Fender Electric Base and hopefully gave you a sense of respect towards Electric Base. Thank you. 